as old as the solar system and very important to humanity. In addition to helping sculpt the planets we have today, they have also been an indispensable component for life on Earth. But humans didn't always know that about comets. Because our ancestors didn't know what they were or where they came from, comets made them afraid, and their appearance in the sky made them feel vulnerable and defenseless. The planets and constellations appear seasonally in ways we can anticipate. But comets seem to appear with no warning, invading the predictable security of our skies. Our unfamiliarity with the history and origin of the solar system gave rise to all sorts of causes and reasons for comets' existence. And because they were unlike any other object in the sky, they weren't usually cast in a positive light. They were usually considered harbingers of doom, and their appearance inspired dread and fear. Almost always they left as quietly as they came, but while they hung over us, comets were unfairly blamed for all sorts of ills to humanity. Plagues, crop failures, droughts, famine, social unrest, political instability, and hosts of disasters. Things are better today, but for many of us still, comets are conjuring up images of fear, corruption, and controversy in our imaginations. And this is leaving us, even now, with all sorts of misinformation. Newly discovered comets should always command our immediate attention. We want to know as soon as possible whether a comet presents a danger to the Earth or if it will just be an amazing spectacle in our night sky. Comet Ison is an interesting comet in many ways, but we know it won't hit us. There is speculation among astronomers, however, that it could break up into pieces. Why? Ison belongs to a class of long-period sun-grazing comets, which means it will pass very close to the sun. On November 28, 2013, the comet will pass within a searing distance of only 1.2 million kilometers, only about three times the distance of the moon from the Earth. What does this mean? Well, comets throughout history have proven notoriously unpredictable. We don't know enough about comets' strength and composition to be certain of the final result as a sun-grazing comet approaches our star. But we do know which outcomes are possible. As Comet Ison draws near the sun, it may do nothing, simply travel around the sun and leave. It may not survive its flyby around the sun, evaporating without a trace. It may produce a breathtaking tail as it screams by. Or it could break up into pieces. So, if Ison breaks up, do we have to worry about the pieces hitting us? The answer is no. Comet Ison is not on a collision course with the Earth. The closest it will ever get to us is 63 million kilometers. During a breakup, comet fragments don't fly off in different directions like shards in a cinematic explosion. They break off, but continue to travel along the path of their parent body. So any pieces would remain far away from us, millions of kilometers away. So if a breakup happens, we may be fortunate enough to witness a beautiful string of pearls in the sky, similar to what Hubble observed when the comet SW3 broke up in 2006. Humanity has a vested interest in the comets in our solar system. They bring both extreme beauty to our night skies as well as present a possible threat to our existence. Comet Ison has already been deemed safe to the Earth. All that's left now is to look up and watch the spectacle.